Okay, this is a uh, test I'm going to do here. I was examining different LED fixtures, and I was told that the reason why I needed to spend a lot of money on a Lutron radio, uh, Lutron dimmable dimmer, LED dimmer, is because of the uh, ability to reduce the dimmable setting to the very low position, and it won't be uh, flickering. Um, I don't know. I went to Home Depot and bought a relatively inexpensive, but seems to be a very good quality light. I plugged it in and had a lot of light to it. There's a lot of lumens anyway per foot, which is important. Um, this particular 12 inch, for example, I think has some uh, 500 uh, lumens. Uh, yeah, for, no, excuse me, 400 lumens for a 12 inch strip, which is pretty darn good. And the Kelvin is a little higher than I'd like. It's 3000 Kelvin versus the 2700 Kelvin. Which is true, but for I think this light, this twelve inches was like fifty bucks, and the and the twenty four incher was like seventy bucks. Uh, it can make a lot of difference. I happen to have an old radio raw uh, switch that uh, had it from leftover when we built the house here some fifteen years ago. So I'm going to use this radio raw dimmer on this and test it out and see if I can uh, how the um, how it all works. So. I'll be uh, try it out and see. Okay, I've got this wired up. I actually used a multimeter here to check my outlet that I was plugging into under my counter here to make sure it was wired correctly and that the the uh, proper neutral wire was connected to the larger uh, stud of the of the plug itself. And it was wired correctly. So I have a Radio Raw 600 LM that I've had here for years, hope it still works, wired in and on my uh, non-conductive wood kitchen desktop table, safely check, taped down. So I'm gonna plug it in and see how all this works and dims. Okay, I now have this all being driven. I've turned off the lights, the overhead lights, so you can see this a little better. Um, as you can see, it's turned on, it, it operates just fine. So if I turn the, turn it on, Turn it off, turn it on, double click, should take me up to the brightest intensity, well, which it does. That's going to really, so I'm going to turn it back off, it goes off all the way. And if I start stepping it up, you can see it starts going. Now, one of the things that everybody said was, or that I was told, is that the reason why you have to use a Lutron LED with other fixtures is because they flicker at the lower settings. Well, I'm setting this at the lowest setting you can see here. And this LED looks very stable. I don't see any flickering whatsoever. Again, this fixture here was, this 12 inch fixture was I think 50 bucks or something like that. And the 24 inch fixture, which I'm getting ready to daisy chain, was about 60 or 70, but somewhere in that range, in the, in the 60 to $70 range. So, uh, you know, versus literally thousands in terms of fixtures that I was going to purchase from Lutron, it now has me very skeptical as to the you know, viability of why to do that. The, the only problem is, again, this is a 3000 Kelvin um, LED in lieu of a 2700 Kelvin LED. But candidly, is that little bit of difference going to make you know, so much that you would warrant the extra cost. I don't know. I got to think about that. So now I'm going to daisy chain another one and we're going to take a look at it. But with this right now, there is absolutely no flickering on this particular uh, fixture. Okay. I have uh, rigged up now daisy chained two of these lights. This is the original 12 inch I was playing with. This is the 24 inch I was playing with. And since I did take a break, I, uh, did go and check the price. The 24 inch was $70 and the 12 inch was uh, $60 uh, or 50 something dollars. So anyway, they're pretty inexpensive LEDs and I have them wired up in daisy chain now. And you can see the only thing I'm doing is I'm going to reduce these all the way. It's kind of interesting that this LDD, did you notice that? So when I go to the lowest setting, it does actually 
fall off. Now, a way I bet you I can resolve that, and I'll test that, is to not to daisy chain it, but to, to wire it directly in. But right now, as far as the light goes, in terms of it flickering or anything, it's nothing like that. I'm going to uh, turn, off, turn off the light here and see how it works, so overhead light here. Okay, the overhead light is off now, and as you can see, these things are working. No flickering. Now, if I go to the very lowest setting on the Lutron switch here, I don't know if you can see the green light over my finger there. I'm trying to be very careful as I move around here. And by the way, don't do this if you're not very, very comfortable and familiar with electrical wiring. I've been a, I was a licensed ham radio operator when I was 13, and I'm now 54, so it gives you an indication how long I've been doing this. So, as I go down though, even to the, when I go down to the very lowest setting, this 24 inch LED light kicks off. And uh, I bet you I can avoid that if I, if I wire it directly, but maybe not. It maybe with the jumper is actually maybe going a straight through pass. So it may not, may not affect it, but I can see is I start to just go up one setting. It comes in and uh, seems to be working just fine. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up now. And you can see, and I'm going to let this cook here for a second and see if there's any flickering in any fashion. I'll come back to it in a minute. Okay, after leaving these on for a while, what I noticed was is that uh, no flickering whatsoever. The lights are very stable. But I noticed at the lower settings, you can see the little green light on the Lutron. Here switch is almost at the lowest setting. It's one up from the lowest setting. If I go to the lowest, I'll drop this 24-inch light drops off. If I come up one, it comes on, but notice it's not illuminated as bright. I don't know how well that's going to show up in the video, but this 18 inch, which is in line first, is illuminated a lot more than this 24 inch, 24 inch fixture. Try to put them a little closer so you can see the intensity difference. Uh, this one here, again, I don't know if that's going to show up on the video, but interestingly enough, if I crank it up just one more bump, and that's not even near, near. Now these two are illuminated very, very simil similarly. I, I, I do not detect any difference whatsoever in the illumination between the two. So what I'm saying is, I think at medium, certainly at high settings, you don't notice any difference whatsoever in terms of the illumination of the, uh, of the two fixtures. So again, I, I'm not discouraged by this at all. I just think that, uh, you just need to recognize there are some particulars to it, but uh, maybe very well worth living with, given the cost difference between these particular fixtures versus equivalent Lutron fixtures, which are significantly higher, significantly more expensive. And in fact, I think priced outrageously. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I have now wired these up directly to the switch both of them in other words i'm not jumping them i'm not uh, using a jump or wire at all to the contrary what i'm doing i'm running a, a cable directly to the power source and uh, notice that off the dimmer it's working a lot better now well not better i should say but there's i'm getting some even on the lowest settings here i'm getting some illumination out of the 24 inch strip whereas before i was not when i did it through when i jumped it through this 12 inch strip. So when I go ahead and kill it all the way, it, it, they're both off. If I come up just one notch, uh, the 12 inch is coming on this 24 inch. Here it comes. It's coming on right now. So obviously it's a greater load on the 24 inch. I bet you if I had all fixtures, the same size, in other words, not mixing, mixing the 12 with the 24s, but kept everything all 24s. I direct wired them, they would all probably function just fine. So again, at the end of the day, I, but I'm not saying, you know, again, the, the, the concern that everybody gave me was I would have all this flickering. I'm not seeing any flickering whatsoever. So I find this a very interesting uh, uh, conclusion. Again, these are just so much less expensive and have so much higher output. Again, the Kelvin of light, color of light, is a little brighter than I'd like. I'd like it down at 2,700. It's, these are at 3,000. Eh, for under cabinet lighting, I can probably live with that just fine. 
And again, you're talking about just frankly a few bucks for these fixtures versus uh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars for the same size Lutron fixtures if you're going to buy multiple quantities or even an individual one, which again, which I think is outrageous in terms of pricing given the technology of LEDs today.